Hello students and hello to all the parents and welcome to test prep card. In this video, we'll be looking into how many JE marks is required to get you a good seat into the top colleges of the JE mains exam. So we will look into different branches, computer science top colleges marks, EC top colleges and marks, and we'll also look into mechanical and aerospace. My name is Sagar Anand and these are my credentials. You can look at them at the screen. So let us start the video. First, let us start with computer science. So if you look at computer science, that is the most sought after branch. We will also look into the job trends for different branches at the end of the video. So if you look here, this is the marks criteria that you have to get in JE mains. The total marks for JE mains is 300. So out of 300, this is the marks that you have to get into the to go into the top college. So definitely the first college that comes here is NIT, NIT Trichy. So NIT Trichy, you have to score somewhere around 210 marks out of 300 and the DASA rank that you will get is 31. If you want to download the cutoff ranks for DASA, uh, different colleges which DASA has, you can download the PDF that is given in the description below. So NIT Trichy, you have to score somewhere 210 and a rank will you will get around is 31. The next comes is uh, NIT Surat that you have to score around 200 plus marks. If you look below this, these are some of the outliners which I have mentioned here. Normally, even the colleges which are written here like NIT Trichy or NIT Surat, even the students who are studying in India, these are their first preferred choices. But when you come to the exceptions here, you will look here that triple IT, uh, Delhi, that is the Indrapas Institute of Information Technology, that has a cutoff rank of around 16, which is even higher than NIT Trichy, which is given in the DASA record. So this is an exception. This does not happen for Indian students. This might be because students uh, who are taking admission here, they might have their native place as Delhi. NIT Surat Kal, the second one, NIT Surat Kal, they have the cutoff at 25. This is not an exception altogether. But still, this gives an idea that for NIT Suratkal also you have to score somewhere around 200 and plus marks, 200 and plus marks, around 205 maybe, 215, 210 plus, that means around 215. So in India also, this is this is the norm that NIT Suratkal will be filled at the second place. The next one is a little uh, different because triple IT Kanchipuram normally does not fill up so quickly, but if we see... Uh, if we see, it is getting filled up around here. It is getting filled up around here. After the top five colleges, that is the sixth college that is being filled. Again, the reason might be because Dubai will have, or the whole Middle East will have a lot of students whose native place might be Tamil Nadu and or even Kerala, and they might be looking to study in Tamil Nadu. So that's why this is being filled up quite fast. But these are some of the exceptions here. After that, if you look, then it is altogether the same thing. If you look at number three here, uh, number three here, you have NIT Warangal, which you have to score somewhere around 190 marks and you have to get the DASA rank of 75. If you look at Rorkela, that is again in top five NITs and you have to score somewhere around 130 marks and get a rank of 207. Uh, Indian students who are giving the exam in India, 130 is not a very huge score. Uh, they might not be getting these colleges at these marks. They might be getting all these colleges at a score of maybe 230, 250 plus. That, that can be a case. Or maybe at 220, the last they might be getting. So it is a little easier for you who are coming through DASA to score comparatively a little lower marks to get the same type of a rank because your percentile will be different because you will be just competing with DASA students itself. So now next is uh, next is NS, NSUT Delhi. This is also a very good college. M many students might not know about this, but this is an exceptionally good college and the rank you have to get is 293 and the score is just 100, just 100, near about 30% marks. And if you were a student who was giving the same exam and competing with 
students who are going through J mains uh, residing in India, you might be scoring somewhere around 200 marks to get into this college for CS branch or even a little more higher. And the lastly, the last college here is 298 rank, a little marks around 190, 95, 100. This is a range because it's really difficult to predict the marks. So this is a range which I'm telling you how nearly you have to score. So you can give mock tests and understand if I'm getting marks near about this, there is a huge possibility I might get the branch which I'm looking into. And one exception here is, uh, two exceptions actually I would have to say, is Manipal which is at a rank of 206. So 206 is something around 130 marks and in India. And DTU again 216 which is somewhere here, this is an exception for here. DTU again is a very good university and it requires really high marks but for DASA students you can score anywhere around 100, 120, 130 and you might land up in this college uh, which is again which is an um, I would say an approximation that how much you have to score because at the percentiles the ranks which is given in DASA booklet which is in the description you can have an idea and then from that ranks that J mains ranks, you can have an idea of to score that much rank, how much marks is required. And that mark is, I am telling you here, which you can accurately assume is what you have to score to get a seat under the DASA scheme. Uh, let us come to ECE marks. So ECE marks and the rank in top colleges, the marks that you have to score is again ar around 100 to 150. That is nearly around 40 to 50 percent marks you have to score in JE mains exam and you will get the top NITs for EC. Talking about the job trends in EC, if you come to India, there are not many companies which are working in the EC core sector. There are not many companies who are making microprocessors. There are not many companies who are making very large integrated circuits. You will find, find companies who are working in the electronic industries, which we normally think as the electronic sector altogether. But that is a very small segment and that is actually does not employ too many engineers until unless they are doing it for R&D. Companies like Samsung, LG, anything which is make, which are making electronic, I, consumer electronics. They are not, they are hiring engineers definitely, but they are very small percentage of people because mostly they are dealing with is assembly. Engineering part comes into when you go into the uh, mobile sector, when you go into the drone technology, when you go into company like Qualcomm or Acer, which is making the microprocessor, that is the core uh, EC companies. Or if you go into the semiconductor industry, which are making the uh, the whole board, the green board, which you see inside, which you call the mother motherboard. And then other companies which are making the microprocessor, which you stick on the motherboard. And then you have VLSI companies which are making the whole integration or the circuits which you see on the motherboard. So the job trends in India is you do not have that many companies here. But if you go to the top colleges, you will find companies like Acer or Qualcomm, which are the top companies which will give you into get you into manufacturing of design and manufacturing of uh, microprocessors. But when you go to uh, the job trends abroad, so you will find then now IoT, Internet of Things, that's a major area where you can look jobs, you can find jobs in Europe or in the US. So EC job market in India would be comparatively smaller when you compare it to the CS and IT industry. So if you are taking EC, there has to be a second option in your hand, which can be an MS in the US or MS in Europe or an MBA. This has to be your idea. It is not so with BTEC computer science. Coming into mechanical and aerospace because, because a lot when you are uh, residing in that Middle East area, you will see that there are a lot of petroleum uh, refineries. The major area, major sector that is getting revenue is petroleum. So you, the mechanical uh, engineers are hired there. So a lot of students ask us that if I want to go back there and be a part of it, what degree can I do? Definitely mechanical or chemical. So if you have that idea in your mind that I want to go back to the Middle East, then you can take mechanical, but again, getting into a petroleum industry, either you should have connections there or you have to be extremely lucky 
or extremely studious and then also you need a bit of luck to be at the right place at the right time to crack that job for marks for mechanical to get into these top nits would be somewhere around 70 to 80 marks which you have to score in dasa to get into mechanical uh, um, colleges mechanical branch the job trend for mechanical in india would be yes from nit you will get an opportunity to work in the automobile sector it can be car companies truck companies um, companies which are making bikes you can have that uh, there will be an opportunity for you to work in the production industry where you might be working with companies who are manufacturing gears or who are manufacturing any component that is also in a uh, possibility then the job trends for mechanical or chemical in the middle east would be again production production is making of anything any sort of industry it can be glass industry it can be manufacturing locks it can be manufacturing chairs it can be anything and the fourth one is definitely petroleum that you can go into which is a major area in the middle east or if you go into the chemical which can be chemical can be any sort of oil can be any sort of soaps or toiletries wherever you have chemical or it might be also polymers that is also a part of chemical or fertilizers that is also a part of chemical so you can look into that areas for job job trends for aerospace if you want aerospace there is in nits you will not have aerospace to get into aerospace you can either do btech mechanical from nit and then do a masters in aerospace but at the bachelor's level in nits you will not have aerospace you will have you will just have one college that is iiest indian institute of engineering uh, space and technology and i think so it is in shippur uh, that is one college that will give you BTEC aerospace. Other than that, I don't think so. Dasa has it because uh, any other seats for aerospace. Because even PEC Chandigarh, Punjab Engineering College Chandigarh, which is giving uh, BTEC and uh, aerospace from where Kalpana Chavla did her studies. That also, uh, I think so, is not covered under Dasa. So you just have IIEST Shippur in West Bengal, which, is, which will give you aerospace. Uh, the marks is 80. You have to be really studious to get into aerospace because you will be designing rockets, missiles and they are functioning at a very high velocity. So you have to take care of that stress and they are functioning at a very high thermal energy. Thermal stresses are there so you have to take care of that. So you have to be very good in aerospace. The job trends here are you can work in aerospace industry in India also. There are private industries that are making different parts for all these things which i told you and including also satellites they are making different parts even ec students can work in the aerospace industry so there are jobs but when you compare it the maximum number of jobs will be in it or computer science area it might be data analytics ai or um, cyber security second would be ec where you will have companies like samsung lg or any electronics goods any mobile manufacturer any communication uh, company, internet company like maybe Tata Sky and then it will be in mechanical or electrical and lastly it will be aerospace. So the industry is a little more small when you come to aerospace but it is more uh, intensive of what? Of knowledge that you have to be really skilled to get a job there and even Mercedes and uh, companies like Mercedes or Rolls Royce will hire you because they have engines which are very powerful so they need aerospace engineers so that is the job trend in india and if you go abroad uh, then the job trend would be you have to do a master's in the us or master's in the U uh, europe europe will have very few degrees in aerospace because their aerospace program is very different uh, but then us will have this degree of aerospace where you have to study really hard and then you have companies which are coming up in a commercial space other than boeing which is making planes you have satellites or you have spacex which is also a type of aerospace company so this this was the different job trends for different branches cs has no problem you just need one degree btech and all is okay you will get a job you can even apply for jobs in the uh, in europe you will also have international offers second comes btech ec the job trend would be you would have some jobs in india and then uh, you would have r d jobs in sub companies but then there is a chance that you might have to do ms if you want to continue in that field for better salaries 
or you might have to switch to an MBA to get into the management position in these type of companies. Third would be mechanical, civil, electrical or chemical. The job trends here in India is yes, you can get, but the salaries would be really different for computer science. The higher salary might be 40, 50 lakhs, just an idea. It might go into crore also, but I'm just taking an example. But if it is in 40, 50 lakhs, the highest salary for computer science, then EC higher salary will drop down to 25 lakhs. So there's a steep difference of 15 lakhs and the highest salary for maybe uh, mechanical would drop down to 15, 16 lakhs. That's again, a difference of almost um, from if you compare it with EC, there's a difference of 10 lakhs and same goes with civil and chemical. Chemical, sometimes petroleum industries would give you very high salaries in some NITs, for example, NIT Surat, but that that is exceptional. So this is the job salary trend. If you go to different branches, uh, job trends, I have told you that EC also you have to do BTEC or MS, mechanical, civil, again, you have to do BTEC and definitely to rise in salaries, you will have to do maybe a MS or an MBA. So this is test prep card. This was the cutoff marks that you need in JE mains. This was the ranks that you need for the top colleges. This was the trend for jobs, what is happening in India and abroad. And this was the salary trends which I could uh, find on internet. And these are, if you want to clarify these trends, you can just go to NIT websites and you will find these uh, salaries written there. They are very clear and transparent about how the placements are happening there. So thank you very much. Keep watching Test Prep Card.